Can a free-to-play game bring you real money? Okay, so Xena is a free-to-play mobile real-time strategy game featuring battle royale mechanics. Xena can be played from a PC or laptop too, while the desktop version is available for macOS and Windows, the mobile is only suitable for Android yet. The game is developed by the Cydus Gates Studio, and it is a part of Cydus Metaverse, an ecosystem of gaming products united by single lore and economy. A part of the bigger concept, Xena is one of the planets inside the virtual universe. This once prosperous planet was abandoned by its inhabitants after a meteorite containing deadly bacteria collided. The bacterium had an unforeseen side effect that made the natural resources of Xena, oil in particular, precious assets. The Xenians themselves were forced to leave their home and extract resources using robots controlled from orbital stations. Only female Xenians managed to survive, by the way. The gameplay is as simple as it could be. So, 10 players participate in the battle that lasts around 6 minutes. Players must control squads of robots to capture towers while avoiding devastating dust storms. And the sole survival on the map obviously wins. So, remembering that Xena is a part of the Plator metaverse of Cydus Heroes is actually crucial. This means every item you earn in the game has some real value and can be exchanged for money. As every game is a separate planet with unique resources, Xena's items will be in demand. The project is still in its early stage and offers unique content that will not be available in the future. And the best thing is, you can get it simply by playing an addictive game. So, what can you earn right now? In-game NFTs, like ability cards that you will be able to sell, robot parts in shards to help you unlock and improve new units, G-cells, G-cell subcurrency, loot boxes with resources needed to become the co-owner of Cydus Metaverse and also receive royalties. And also, you can level up robots to access tournaments with valuable prizes. So, it is early stage and the number of your benefits as a player will only increase in the future. So, before moving on to the step-by-step -step guide, you should pay attention to a few more important points. So, when you play, try to participate in the tournament every day because this is a source of unique items. Daily tournaments are free for everyone. The only condition is 275 cups. But since only players participate in the game, it can be difficult to achieve results. So we recommend that you check out our latest guide to increase your chances of winning. And yeah, don't forget to upgrade the robot. So your goal is level 60. During the last Ask Me Anything or AMA session, the executive producer announced a $350,000 tournament for users with level 60 robots. Okay, so now let's play Xena. You need to go to xena.cedosheroes.com and download the game. Three options are here, Android, PC, and Mac. Next, you must install the game if you play on mobile or extract data from the archive. And finally, just launch Xena. And by the way, you will need to type in your real email because you'll be sent a six symbol pin and after that, just enter it and continue. You'll be given a free in-game character and an option to choose a nickname. After that, continue to the lobby. So, as you can see, there are plenty of free rewards. And if you click on the cup, you'll get to the trophy road. You can earn cups and battles, progress the roads, and unlock new rewards. If you click on rewards in the lobby, you'll see free daily lottery and weekly rewards. Just don't forget to collect them. In the upper right corner, you can find your balance. For Xena, there are two main assets, G-Cell and in-game soft currency that you can win as rewards, and g or a hard currency that can be purchased via the personal accounts on the website. So, let's also take a look at the bottom panel. Premium, a menu for buying a premium account that allows you to receive 50% rewards and more. Shop, 
Here you can buy rare ability cards, loot boxes, G Cell, G Ore, and also pick up a daily free gift, Forge. Here you can improve skills, and for this you need to select a skill and provide two additional cards of the same skill as well as shards. Inventory. All resources obtained in battles will be displayed right here. Top 100. Rating of the best players by Cops Earn. Mode. A type of game. Fight button to start the game. Robot box indicates how many wins you need to get in a loot box. So you get one after every five wins. Shards indicates the limits of shards you can win in battles. The gear in the lobby will take you to the profile. So here you can, for example, change your nickname, get a copy of your ID, control sound and music, also enable the display of player nicknames in the game. Here you can also log out, read privacy policy, contact support, go to Discord to chat with other users, and also turn on and off music and sound effects. And lastly, change language. If you click on the character's porter, you will be taken to the character's menu. Here you can also change character, see NFT status like free, common, epic, and legendary, Use items while this is not in the game yet. Distribute 10 talents into four characteristics like attack, vitality, agility, and defense. The stats affect the health, damage, defense, and speed of your robots. And now let's prepare your robot. Click on it and you'll be taken to the robot screen. Here you can level up your robot and distribute four talents between three main characteristics on level one. First, leadership. How many troops the player will have when the battle begins. Next, spawn. The speed at which new robots appear. And lastly, speed. The speed with which the robots will move. So you get more talents with every new level. A tab can be seen in the upper left corner. There are also abilities in the game and they are divided into two types, general and unique. General abilities can be used by any robot of any race. Unique ones can be only used by robots to which they belong. Abilities can be upgraded using shards. And you can take three abilities into the battle, but only use two. Additionally, you can see shards, skins, unlock new ability slots, change robots, and reselect talents for 200 G-cell. Okay, you have finally chosen the robot distributed talents, and also added the necessary abilities. I think it's high time to play. Go to the lobby and click on Fight. The battle will start when there are 10 players. So here you are in the game and don't rush, take a moment to look around. Next, you will need to send superior troops to capture towers. To capture any tower, the number of your troops must be greater than the tower defense. To do this, just draw a route from your starting tower to the tower you want to capture. And yeah, it doesn't have to be straight because sometimes it's worth using different paths to get around the enemy or difficult terrain. Now, let's take a look at the game interface. Scale of troops is located in the left side of the screen. When withdrawing troops from the tower, the percentage of all units in the tower that is indicated on the scale will be withdrawn. And there are four values, 100%, 75%, 50%, and 25. Scale with information about opponents. It is divided into 10 parts. Each part has its own color and represents the player with the same color. In each part, a number is written indicating the number of units of each player. The choice of abilities appears at the first and the third minute of the game and only if you have at least one ability. The zoom button is located in the bottom left corner. By holding it, you can see the entire map. You can use space on a desktop version too. The button with information about opponents is located in the lower right corner. When you click on it, you will see detailed information about all your opponents, including their abilities. Sandstorm is the game mechanic that forces the players to move around the battlefield. The storm has several action phases, and the last one narrows down the secure zone to zero. 
the work and timings are the same on all maps. And by the way, the chosen center inside the storm is absolutely random. Cohorts and towers affected by the storm take damage until they die. So to save yourself from the storm, you need to move. And the only way to move is to capture towers, of course. There are 48 objects on the map in total, of which 10 starting towers like factories, 20 neutral factories, 9 warp ambushes, and 9 power stations. Factory produces units and is also protected by a defensive system. Warp ambushes hides the cohort in it. Other players see no sign of another player nor a warp ambush radius. Only the player who owns the warp ambush sees the number of units. An enemy cohort that is within the range of a warp ambush is automatically attacked by the cohort owning the tower, with the attackers having an attack bonus. Bonus damage and radius can be increased by abilities. Warp ambush does not spawn units by default, However, spawn can be enabled with a special ability. Power Station, a building that helps all your buildings produce robots faster or increases the movement speed of all your cohorts. As in the previous case with Warp, spawn can be enabled with a special ability. It's also pretty easy to distinguish a power station that gives speed from another. You should look at its mojo. Hammer-like increase the production, while pyramid shape increase the speed. Container, a building that does not belong to anyone, however, begins functioning after being captured. The container turns into one of the aforementioned towers. Okay, the map landscape is made up of pixels. So each pixel, except for those on which the building stand, has its own properties. For example, field slows down a unit by 15%, while road speeds it up by 20%. Next, forest, which slows down by 20%. Mountain slows down by 60%. And water slows down by whopping 70%. So, as you can see, sometimes it's better to draw a longer route across the road than a shorter one across the water. So yeah, Xena has pretty simple gameplay and it will be enough just one game for you to figure it all out. Once done here, you need to collect 275 cups and start playing daily tournaments as they'll bring you rare items and tickets to future VIP tournaments. Daily tournaments can be found in the lobby and entered absolutely for free. So, despite being casual, Xena is suitable for many goals. First, users who want to enjoy original and fun gameplay. Second, players who are interested in playtime mechanics and want to earn. And finally, esportsmen, for example, who are looking for new promising disciplines. So no matter what you're looking for, Xena could be it. And you can earn real money without any investments. Only your time matters. And by the way, soon Xena will launch a $350,000 tournament. And this game is definitely worth checking for that.